These 2020 extrusions are perfectly suited to go straight into tapping at the end of the joint, such that you can hold any kind of bracketed device like a light, microphone, camera, etc. These little doodads made for cameras and so forth are always quarter 20 threads. That's the standard you find on the bottom of these. Right there, that thread is the same as a camera mount or something on a tripod that you find at the store. Once you've tapped it, you can easily secure any kind of bracket from the camera working industry. I think drones use a lot of this too. Then you just have to go deep enough that your full threads, the section where the threads are complete size, is going to drive as deep as the depth of your screw you plan to use. Use both hands and be gentle when you're starting so you don't tear up the aluminum. And then you're gonna check by looking from the side to make sure you're straight for the first couple of turns. And then come to look at the other side and make sure that you're parallel with the aluminum bar. You can feel when it starts to bite. Pushing down is good at the start and then after you've started a few threads, you will not need to push down anymore. And if you were close to centered, the tap itself will pull itself to a nice perpendicular, sorry, parallel direction. And you won't need to worry anymore. Then you can feel if it starts to get very difficult, we're gonna break the chip. That means reverse this just a little bit. You can feel the chip break and you can proceed forward again. And these tap handles are very easy, but it's also easy to break these taps. Anything smaller than quarter inch, you need to be very, very gentle. And I recommend for anything smaller than M6, this is M5, anything smaller than a quarter inch, you can grab one of these taps that has the hex shank that will fit right into a drill and it has a drill tip. That guarantees that the hole that you've made or uh, chased is going to be perfectly parallel, less likely of breaking the tap, but you need to fixture whatever it is you're holding so that it say, stays steady. And you're also holding this uh, bit and your driver parallel to the driving direction. After you've used this once, or maybe even halfway through, Make sure you brush off the chips because those interfering materials will uh, fill the void where you need clearance to cut. And these channels need to be clear enough that the material can fill in there as it's being cut. Again, these 30 millimeter extrusions have a hole designed in there that's prepared and ready for a size eight millimeter diameter screw. Uh, machine screw and the 20 millimeter extrusions are usually with a hole size that's suitable for m6 or quarter inch so if you want the metric you can use the m6 that is the matching threads for most of the fasteners that go on this 30 millimeter rail so maybe you have those on the shelf and quarter inch is the same as most mounting equipment for cameras and brackets like this.